reading from the Gospel of Luke. Then Jesus looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven, for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. These beatitudes, which essentially means blessing, are extremely familiar to us. I would say that this passage and perhaps uh, the Magnificat, the Song of Mary at the beginning of Luke, are two of the most pinnacle passages in the Gospel of Luke that help us understand what is most important to Jesus and really what the kingdom of God looks like. Both of these passages can completely flip the world upside down. In the past, it was believed that to have riches, to have health, to have wealth, all of those things, to have happiness, was a sign of God's favor upon you. To be poor, to be sick, to be miserable, disabled, sad, all of those things were also a sign of the lack of God's favor for you. And here, Jesus is making very clear that God's love and that the kingdom of God is not based upon these earthly riches or our physical uh, status here and now. I think that there are times in our lives where this series of the Beatitudes here in Luke, when we have the blessed are and woe to you, they speak to us in both capacities. There are times where we need the encouragement, where we are poor, where we are injured, where we are sick, where we are sad, and the blessing, the love, the grace encourages us to remind us that the kingdom of God is not like this. And there are other times in our lives where we need to hear the woes, where we're missing the point of what it means to be a disciple of God, where we're misusing our resources, misusing our talents. As a faith community, this is why we do outreach. This is why it's important to us in this community of St. James Cathedral that we prioritize both with our finances and with our bodies, with our time, with our talents, the service of others. Being able to help redistribute the world's wealth. The world produces everything that it needs to sustain life. It produces enough food for everyone. There's enough space for shelter. And yet it is we as humanity that misuse those resources and therefore cause the poor. And we get to be a part of flipping the world upside down, which means that we're not about accumulating wealth and resources, that we're not about stashing them away and showing off all of our riches, but it's about sharing those among one another and among our neighbors. So sometimes we receive the blessed when we need encouragement. And sometimes we need to listen to those woes when we need to be reminded of our job and our responsibility in flipping this world upside down. Amen.